So today is Sunday. Mommy, look at it. Oh, the girls are awake. Today is Sunday, June 27th. Hello my friends, I'm so sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to quickly mention today's video partner and that is Zimf Optical. If you guys are glasses connoisseurs like I am and you are looking for somewhere to get yourself some really super stylish, cute glasses, then Zimf Optical is definitely a great option. I just picked out these super adorable, they're like kind of like a light apricot gray beige kind of color frames and they are obnoxiously huge and that is totally my jam. I have kind of like a larger face and so I tend to gravitate toward bigger frames because I feel like they make my face look a little bit slimmer and smaller and a little bit more feminine. So if you're like me and you like big glasses then you will definitely love the options on Zimp Optical. So Zimp Optical is just like any other online optical company where you go online, you put in your prescription, you order your glasses, you can customize the lenses, you can customize the bifocal, blue light blocking, which is what these are. And then of course you place your order and then in a week or two, your glasses come in the mail. It is super affordable, way more affordable than purchasing glasses from your optometrist, your eye doctor. I have been wearing glasses since I was about six years old and I can tell you right now that I have never spent less money on glasses in my life than when I started using online lens glasses companies. Zimp Optical has such amazingly cute options. I'm gonna just quickly insert a scroll through right here. So as you guys can see, Zimp is definitely rocking all of the cute, super stylish, looks right now from your aviators to your um, vintage looking glasses, huge different shapes and I just absolutely love these styles, I think they're just amazing. So uh, when you get your Zimp glasses in the mail they come in a really nice sturdy case. Uh, these glasses came in this one. I actually have another pair in here. I'm not gonna show those to you guys yet. You'll have to wait till you see them in another video. But they come in this beautiful case, super sturdy. They always come with a glasses cleaner wipe. Another thing that I really love about the Zimf optical glasses is that they're really durable. So I actually own three other pairs, four, five, total pairs of Zimf glasses. And I can tell you right now that they are very sturdy and very high quality glasses. They don't fall apart, they don't break, they don't snap. They are adjustable. You can kind of hear these ones are a little bit squeaky, but they are hard plastic. So they're not super flimsy, they're not gonna break on you. The lenses are sturdy as well. So these glasses are high quality for a very low price. So you can actually purchase these exact frames by clicking the link down below and using my code TRS to get 50% off of your frames and 20% off of your lenses. That is an amazing, amazing deal. These glasses themselves are called the, the Hoodie Square Apricot Gray eyeglasses. I do own a couple of pairs of sunglasses from them, my absolute favorite. I will insert a picture here. These are all by Zimp Optical. So again, if you guys are interested in checking out Zimp, you can click on the link down below, use my coupon code TRS for a super sweet deal, and back to the video. So Cash and I are going to load up and go to Starbucks. I'm going to Starbucks. Did you take your pull up off? Okay y'all, so we made it back from Starbucks. I just got a plain iced coffee and I will be putting my own creamer in it. So now at this part of our day, we are just gonna hang out. We usually watch like cartoons and just hang out on the couch for like an hour once we get back. And then it starts to get really hot outside. So I try to balance our day as best I can. Usually we go to the gym. I don't know if we'll go to the gym today. Cash, you wanna go to the gym today? Oh no. I don't know why, but like, all this summer, he's been like against going to the gym and like every time I try to take him, he like cries and it's been really tough because I really wanna go to the gym 
and obviously he has to go. So anyway, um, I think we're gonna just hang out this morning, watch a little TV, and then we'll probably do some sort of activity outside that involves the little splash pad or I have an inflatable pool. And I'm pretty positive we're gonna see our next door neighbors at some point today. Is it just me staring in the mirror on the wall? All I can see. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with dishes. I know my husband does the dishes in our house, but I'm gonna go ahead and do them since he's working and I don't have anything else to do, so. Before and and after. All right, dishes are done. So I'm check that off. Now I need to finish washing laundry. Alexa, shut the music off. This does not mean putting laundry away. This means washing the laundry. I put laundry away while I watch The Bachelorette on Mondays. So I need to finish washing the laundry by today so that tomorrow I can put it all away. Also, this guy has switched to his Paw Patrol game because Crash Bandicoot was a little too hard, huh, buddy? Yeah. He usually only lasts about 15 to 20 minutes on this, so. It gives me a little bit of time to get my chores done. And then I can focus on hanging out with him. Nothing more, more, nothing at all. So I have been starting to think about going back to school. Now it is only June 27th, but I returned to school on July 13th. I think I'll probably be able to get back into the building maybe the 12th, maybe the weekend before that. So like the 9th, 10th, 11th. The first day of school is July 21st. So starting, oh yay! Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be having one of my fourth graders from last year. I became really close with her um, and befriended her mom. Uh, but anyway, she's gonna be coming over tomorrow to play with Cash for a few hours. So I think what I'm gonna do is just start working on some back to school stuff just for a few hours in my office, um, getting some things ready for the first week. So just picking out what activities I wanna do the first week, getting paperwork started. I do teach departmentalized, so I, I have a new system that I'm gonna be trying out um, next year. And so I just wanna work for a couple of hours just to get things started that way when I get back into my classroom, I can really focus on putting it together rather than planning. So um, I'm gonna do that tomorrow, maybe Tuesday, if she'll come back Tuesday. Um, that'd be fun. She's 10 years old, so she's just gonna be playing with Cash and entertaining him while I work in my office and get things done around the house, which I absolutely love. And one of the things that I feel like is the best part of teaching is actually making lasting relationships with kids and their families. What, baby? You wanna play Uno? You wanna play Uno with mommy? Okay, we can play Uno. All right, so one of the games that we've been playing this summer when it's just Cash and I is Uno, and um, he does know how to play for the most part. He does have to be reminded of the rules sometimes. You wanna come sit right here? Okay, so the way we play is a little bit different. We actually hold our cards out, so obviously we're not playing to win. We're just teaching him how to play the game. So one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Color is yellow, number is four. So this game does help with cash and his Mommy, numbers. Four. Do you have a four? No. Do you have a yellow? No. Okay, then you need to pick a card. I want to pick green. Well, we can't pick a... Oh, there's a five. Okay, put that one down. <laughs> okay, now I have a five. Red. Red. 
that's not red and that's not five. Pick red or five. Red. Very good job. What number is that? It's nine. No, read it like this. Six. Six. Good job. Okay. Like this. How many do you need? One, two, three, four. Okay, so you need four green triangles. So Cash and I have eaten breakfast, we've played a couple of activity games, and now we're going to go on a bike ride. So um, I know some of you have probably seen my Brightline eating and weight loss video. So this is um, what the bod is looking like lately. I'm still like not totally pleased with my legs. I'm working out legs like two or three times a week. Um, my knees have always been an area that I have struggled with. They're kind of like thick and chunky. And so I'm working on getting this gone. And then also, you know, the whole side butt situation. So anyway, I'm going to attempt to wear biker shorts around today and to the gym. And I've never worn shorts to the gym before, but it's not leg day. So I don't have to like bend or anything today's push uh push day so we will see if i can last the day in the shorts but cash and i are going to go for a bike ride it's currently 100 degrees outside so wish me luck i do need to bring water because i will dehydrate super quickly and wear a hat because the sun will kill me so we'll see how this goes <laughs> Yeah. In the circles? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. It's very hard to do without your turtle. Everything goes down. There's one now. Without your turtle on it. Come, mommy, come. Oh, you want me to go with you? Wee! Okay, so the bike ride was a flop. We did end up going to the park. We got there, we slid down the slide a couple times, and then we came home. Cause it is way too hot out there. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? One hundred and four degrees Fahrenheit. No, thank you. So we came home. We're eating lunch. I'm snacking on an apple. What are you having? Bag milk and and and, and, and carrots and then a gobble and a tea salad. Ooh. That's a good lunch. And, and, and I got chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Those are the protein shakes from Costco, and he loves them. Look at your face. You're all red. That's because it's hot outside, huh? We got to do our bike rides earlier tomorrow. 
like in the morning first thing when we wake up. Sound good? Okay. I need to fill up my tire, it's, it's flat. Um, another thing I need to do, maybe by the end of the day, is get these two rat cages cleaned out. This one is gonna go to Mandy. This one's going to stay here and be our weekend rat cage. So I need to clean both of them out. I have to completely bleach this one and clean everything that's inside of it because when they come home, they'll be together in there. And right now it has Temple Tina's stuff all over it. And so you have to kind of like wash it so there's no territorial issues. But right now the rats are taking a nap or they should be. What are you doing, madam? You want some apple? You girls want to share some apple? Where's your sister? She's in there. You are so funny. Hi, baby. She loves mommy. Huh? You love mommy? You guys want some apples? You want some apples, huh, Peachy? I'm gonna go get them some apple. You ready? You want this? It's big for you. Peachy. This one's yours. That one's yours. Come here. <laughs> She's trying to get out. Hey, okay, eat your apple. No peach, that one's not yours. See, look, they're fighting already. Go get yours, where'd yours go? Where'd yours go? Okay, well, I'm gonna eat my apples and then I think we're gonna try and clean Cash's room because we're gonna leave for the gym in about an hour-ish, 12.45 is the goal, okay. Oh. <laughs> you pinched yourself? I fell on my leg and it pinched me. <laughs> okay. Workout's almost over. Look out there. No, right here. Where is quite a few hours since my last check-in. Um, uh, a couple of our other neighbors came over and brought their kids and they were all playing outside. The kids were playing inside. These two are still playing. Um, and so the rest of our evening is just going to be hanging out here, letting the kids play, probably making dinner. And then I will probably play The Sims after I put Cash to bed. That's about it, you guys. So. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully the information on the glasses is helpful. If you're interested, definitely check the links down below. They will be right at the top of the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. The next couple videos are probably going to be teaching related, just so you know. So I will see y'all then. Um, okay, bye.